What, what I like best about uh, CSSP is how broad and overreaching it is, how um, uh, it, it's just a fantastic group of various societies and members who've come together. Um, we're all interested in science, you know, that's the overarching theme, but we come at it from different perspectives. And it is such a oh, relief, so, uh, so enlightening to be able to think about things like physics or astronomy or mineralogy, something uh, way outside of agriculture, for example, which is what soil science spends so much time uh, focusing on. Be in the company of some big thinkers, some, some people who really are innovative and uh, think outside of the box and have big plans, you know, especially some of our, our past uh, presidents are, are really huge thinkers. You know, it, it's just amazing to, to see the kind of uh, brain power in one place at one time. And, and that is inspiring to me. As I've reached out to other society presidents, you know, to join us, some of the responses that I've gotten back from that has been, um, well, we're, we're too small. We're not really, um, you know, we don't need to belong to something like that, which is just exactly the opposite. If you're a small society, you need to be part of this larger group. So it really helps to be part of something where you can ask other people like in the Council of Science Society presidents, you know, who do you go to? It's been amazing to me that um, more, more societies don't realize the strength in, in joining a coalition, so to speak, or this council. The leadership workshops um, were eye-opening to me. So part of it is um, the accessibility and being able to hear the speakers, the opportunity to network, not just with them, but with other science society leaders has been a phenomenal um, experience. Speakers who who bring in new, new, innovative, new thoughts, big thoughts, things that may be uncomfortable even to think about. I'm amazed uh, with all of the, the strong women leaders. I'm just really amazed at having those kind of role models. More, the, the council is more diverse than a lot of boards and, and councils that I've seen. I, I still feel, so I've been president for, what, almost nine months now, and I just now feel like I'm figuring out the job. And then by the time you're past president, you finally feel like you know what's going on. What's helped me, uh, the chats have been immeasurably helpful, always relevant. They're always uh, completely engaging. And, and they're always timely. Again, the network widens, it, it expands. I, I'm sure it's helped me be a better president, but it's, it's really helped improve me as a scientist. It, it's helped me um, broaden my, my science understanding beyond, again, just a few narrow disciplines and to see how things are connected. Um, that makes it better for my um, for my faculty, it makes it better for my students, um, and, and it just enhances connectivity and science everywhere. To be a good scientist, you have to think in terms of systems. To be a good leader, you probably need to think in, in, across organizations. The first thing that I volunteered to help with was, was to, to draft a new diversity, inclusion, and equity statement. And um, I think just getting to work on that with people like Malcolm Butler and um, Lisa Keefe, it was, it, it was great because it wasn't just 
you know, let's check off the boxes. Let's let's just put the language in there and not worry about whether it fits or is doable. It was more important to make sure that it was both carefully crafted as well as something that could be applied. Thinking broader, thinking of strength and numbers. I think a lot of times people are reluctant to join councils or coalitions or federations because they think their own voice is going to get drowned out or lost. And it's just the opposite in CSSP. We actually welcome more and different voices. You know, you're not just shunted to the back of the room. You're actually more like showcased. And yes, please join us and please bring your issues and let's all work on them together.